Hello, my name is Marissa Tejas and I am 32 years old. I am a graduate student at UCLA and I am a crocodilian parasitologist. Now what that means is that I actually study the interaction between parasites and crocodiles and alligators. Everyone asks, how did I get into science? Or how does a girl from the LA suburbs get interested in crocodiles and their parasites? Particularly since crocodiles and alligators cannot be found in the Los Angeles area. So, I blame this on my father. When I was about five years old, I remember it was my birthday or it was Christmas, I wanted a Barbie doll or my little pony, and my father just gave me a, a stack just a rectangular stack. As a little girl, I'm thinking, what is this and what did I do wrong? So I open up the, this, this gift from my father and it's a book on sharks. And it's actually this book that changed my life. I fell in love with this shark book. I read it inside and out and about seven years old, I could tell you every shark species, their geographic distribution, their scientific names, their diet. I absolutely fell in love with apex predators. And then when I was about 15 years old, I remember at high school and some of my friends were like, Marissa, you have to come over to our house. You know, there's this guy from Australia, he's crazy, he just jumps on crocodiles, he loves them. I was like, wow, this sounds really cool. So I went over to a friend's house and I saw this crazy Australian dude just jumping on top of a saltwater croc and just his love and his passion just totally transpired um, into me and I just fell in love with crocodiles and alligators. So really, crocodiles and alligators became my favorite animal because of Steve Irwin. So I got really interested in parasites when I took a parasitology class and I was so interested in how parasites, these small organisms, were able to live in other organisms and be able to manipulate the behavior of their hosts, such as birds or snails, or change any physical traits of their particular host. And I got really interested in knowing how could parasites of crocodilians be affecting them? Like, is there anything that parasites are changing about crocodilians? And this is really interesting because crocodilians have been on our earth for millions and millions of years. So do parasites have anything to do with part of the evolution of crocodiles? So this is something that I got really interested in and I wanted to pursue later. As a little girl, one of my dreams was to one day be able to travel around the world. And because of what I consider my job now, which is studying crocodilians and their parasites, I definitely have been able to do that. I have traveled now to over 20 countries. Being able to do what I love, which is work with crocodiles and parasites. And as a huge animal lover, and as I started looking more into it, I kind of felt bad for apex predators. They weren't getting a lot of conservation. Everyone just wanted to kill them or get rid of them because they were scary or they looked mean. And as a young girl, I actually realized that these animals were very important for the ecosystem. I felt really bad. So even at a young age, I just thought, okay, one day I am going to be a spokesperson, a representative for these apex predators, and I'm going to try to save them. And I'm going to try to help people understand how important they are as well. In the last year, I have been appointed as Regional Vice Chair of Central America for the conservation and research for crocodiles. And this is a huge dream of mine that I have been able to accomplish. So that's been actually pretty cool that now I have the ability to actually make a difference in the world for conservation for crocodiles, as well as all the other animals within its habitat.